We've lost many colleagues. Israel tried to uh, censor uh, the Palestinian narrative, impose restrictions, uh, and uh, impose a media blackout. That's why it prevented the entry of any foreign journalist into Gaza. I attended uh, my education at United Nations schools. I lost loved ones. I lost my sister. I lost my nephews and nieces, my cousins. Uh, total destruction. I was the last journalist to cover the beauty of Gaza, the, the landmarks, the tourist places, the historical places. And I'm uh, nearly finished uh, uh, doing my documentary film about uh, Gaza, uh, which is uh, unfortunately destroyed forever. In last December, um, an Israeli F-16 uh, fighter jet bombed uh, the house of my sister and as a result she and her six children killed and they are still under the rubble. It was during this genocide. Um, I am lucky that I visited them last summer uh, and I'm lucky that I saw Gaza before it's being destroyed. Israel doesn't care about the hostages. Israel is interested to ethnically cleanse the population of Gaza. It uh, doesn't like the demography of Gaza. 2.5 million people staying in the Gaza. They refuse to vanish. Uh, and Israel is annoyed from the steadfastness of Palestinians uh, because we are not going anywhere. People struggle for self-determination and for freedom. And these sacrifices must not go in vain. We are certain that Israel will not be able to uh, polish its tarnished image because it will be known forever as a country that used lies and fabrications in order to justify a genocide. My message is that you have failed us miserably. Uh, we know that uh, you can stop the genocide. You could impose uh, pressure on Israel to reach ceasefire, but you are hypocritical. Uh, you play double standards uh, because uh, Israel known for being the a victimizer uh, we are the victims and you have been watching us being slaughtered day after day uh, but history will not uh, be merciful to you the freedom of the world is incomplete without the freedom of the palestinian people